We present a novel physics-based approach to facial animation. Contrary to commonly used generative methods, our solution computes facial expressions by minimizing a set of nonlinear potential energies that model the physical interaction of passive flesh, active muscles, and rigid bone structures. By incorporating temporal dynamics and external forces, our method enables a variety of advanced animation effects. Our paper shows a complete pipeline for facial animation, which is split into two parts. The first one is model building. It processes the input facial scans and reconstructs the digital avatar through an inverse physics optimization. The second is animation. In this phase, we use forward physics to produce novel animations of the avatar. As input, we assume a set of surface scans of a user that are first transformed to a user-specific blend shape model. We have built an anatomically inspired volumetric template model that is then adapted to the neutral scan through the anatomy transfer process. We thus obtain a physics-based neutral representation of the user. Subsequently, our inverse physics solver computes suitable muscle activations of the simulation model to best approximate each expression blend shape. The animation stage takes as input a temporal series of blend shape weights that are mapped to per frame muscle activations. We use this information to apply forward physics simulation to compute dynamic face articulations. External forces such as gravity or object collisions, as well as other physics-based interactions, can be incorporated in the simulation to support a wide range of dynamic effects. The end product of this stage is an animation sequence. Our approach starts with a generic face model, an anatomical face template corresponding to an average human subject, which has four components, bones, skin, muscles, and fat. We generate a tetrahedral mesh of the soft tissue of the face, which conforms to the skin and bones. We distinguish between two types of soft tissue. We nonconformally embed the muscles into the volumetric mesh, obtaining the red region depicted on the right. The gray regions correspond to passive tetrahedra, representing subcutaneous fat. Apart from deforming muscle tetrahedra in order to perform expression, we equip our model with jaw kinematics. The jawbone has five degrees of freedom encoded as parameters in our models. In order to simplify the collision detection and resolution tasks, we use lower resolution collision proxies for the upper and lower teeth. Finally, in order to simulate skin sliding, our physics optimization distinguishes between regions where the flesh can slide on the bone and regions where it is fixed. Let's now look at some example applications, which showcase the capabilities of the proposed reconstruction and animation pipeline. The first one is body mass index changes, that is slimming and fattening of the reconstructed characters. In order to do so, we simply draw a fat map in UV space, and we add constraints in the optimization that tweak the volume of the tetrahedra. Finally, we animate the character as usual, while keeping the jaw kinematics and activation forces constant. Note how the dynamics of the face change slightly. Also notice how the slim faces follow the bone structure underneath. into how we can model one common cosmetic procedure, lip enhancement. In our physics framework, we simply inject fat material in a few places in the lips, diffuse this volume, and then reanimate as before. Note how the collisions between the lips and the lips and the teeth happen differently than before. We turn to another common cosmetic procedure, that of correcting underbite and overbite. For this user, we see a mild underbite case. In our framework, we simply take out the jawbone, modify the mesh in an external application, then put it back in and simulate. Now we see how an external force, such as wind, interacts with our character while performing expressions. Note the effects of secondary motion and collisions. Here we have our character jump up and down with inertial effects turned off and on.
We virtually place a VR headset on the face of our actor and have him perform a recorded animation sequence. Note how the nasolabial fold is influenced. Our framework allows for simulating things such as partial paralysis of the face, also known as Bell's palsy. We record an animation of the character and never activate the muscles in the left part of his face. The dynamics remain the same. For our last example, we show how our system can be used to obtain more extreme, non-realistic effects. In order to recreate the look and feel of a zombie, we paint two UV maps that modify the stiffness as well as the mass distribution in the digital face. The simulation automatically produces the hanging and jiggling of the flesh. Note that apart from the texture, no mesh or blend shape has been altered. We thank you for your attention.